Hey yo, it's me, your blind bestie. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha. This is Aisha's life. Let's get into this vlog and let's figure out what we doing this weekend. Let's go. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. Let's go. 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 We're doing a weekend with me, a weekend in my life, whatever. It should be pretty non-exciting, but I'm gonna bring y'all along. Let's let's get this day together. Hey, in here, I didn't show y'all. So when I was, okay, so I broke my, my ring light, right? Okay, so I've been having to prop it up on some ghetto shit, right? I put my mannequin head on the tripod. Like I took the piece off and I just, Stuff that much gun. And your girl got a tripod. Okay, for her mannequin head. Oh my god! Wow! So, right now, y'all see what I'm doing. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. You see it. You see it. So I can go to the kid's head because my fucking head keeps moving. It's a headband wig or whatever. But it's like the texture of 4C hair. And it's really freaking soft. But when I add water to it, as y'all see, she curls up really really nicely i'm two strand twisting her up only because i want to wear it it's just the frizziness the frizziness with the two strand twist i'm adding some of this shea whipped hair butter for shine <laughs> I like this hair band wig. It's just to when I uncurl it and twist it, it just be looking real short. It's an awkward length, but we're gonna see. And I got the Lexi rods down here. Where is it at? It's not in this one. It's in the one in the closet. But I got flexi rods, so if I wanted to, I could do the hot water method and flexi rod it and get a different curl. But I ain't trying to fuck this wig up. It's cute. Yeah. We've got the washer and dryer in there, y'all. I had to help pick that up and I did it. I did it very well. I'm so proud of me. So we're about to do laundry. Our washer, our last washer here went out. So we had to get a new one so now we got another washer and dryer so babe is so sweet he put my wax things on here so that i can know what's what on the washer and the dryer um he did this one over here as well for me so that's really helpful y'all know your girl's blind so i'm about to put this washer to the test it has the little agitator thing in there i wished it didn't because my last one didn't have it it was just like a big ass hole but i feel like that probably contributed on why it went out because i had just bought it in 2017 so you would think it wouldn't hit without but i'm about to get to washing because this is like two weeks of clothes that needs to be washed i'm washing the covers all that all that's getting done today so i'll probably be done around like six today Y'all, this is Diamond. This is the new pups. We've had her since November 4th. She was born in September. Hello, mamas. Hey, mamas. Blue boy. Blue boy. Ah, Diamond. I can pet him too. I promise you. Okay. Okay. It's a lot going on. Okay. All right. Can I have my ball? Oh, my God. The first load... The first load of laundry is on. Today is Saturday, if I have not already said it today in the vlog. I don't really think I have, but it's wash day. It was Sundays, but let me tell y'all. I was like, I really would like <laughs> to not have to do my hair on Sunday. Like, I just feel like Sundays is my day to just rest and chill. And when spending almost an hour 
washing my hair, braiding it back down. Like it was just doing too much. I guess in this video, I can show y'all my wash day routine and all that stuff. Cause like, why make a separate video about it? You could just vlog about it. <laughs> so every week I wash it on Saturdays now. As I'm taking down my braids, I'm finger detangling because by the time I get to the part where I actually have to use the wire tooth comb, it's not a lot to detangle. So like my fingers going straight through because before I even braid it down, I'm detangling with my fingers as well. But we've had a lot of growth since I last talked to y'all about my hair due to the fact that I'm just not touching it. Like I touch my hair once a week, literally once a week. And that's when I'm putting my braids down. But y'all gonna watch me do the rest of the wash day routine. So all the braids are out. So this is what you girls hair is looking like. If you're like, why is this side is longer than this side? I had a shunt put in in 2020. This was all like bald and now it's grown back. And when I cut this side, it just, I typically like to work in sections. So I'll take this part over here and then just run my hands through, starting from the root. I mean, not the root, the tips and then go upward. And just to let y'all know, my hair is not shedding. Like, oh, her hair is falling out. I tried to save the strands on top of my desk, but clearly that didn't happen. I don't have a lot of shedding. I don't. So I'll take a section, start at the bottom, hold it like this, work myself up to the top. And since I've already detangled twice before doing this step, this step is really easy and I lose little to no hair. So. That's how that happens, but I'm about to wash it here in a second. But I'm just giving it a second to just breathe and not be confined to braids or nothing like that. In the back, same method. So after a week of having my hair in braids from my protective style for the week, this is how much hair I've lost. And this is pretty normal because I think you lose like 100 strands a day. So not a lot of shedding. We love that. Just clean off the, the comb. And that'll be the last time that I really comb my hair with a comb until next week. So far, the new washer is doing good. These are dry and these are ready to come out. Ugh. I'm so bothered when it comes to taking this stuff out. So bothered. <laughs> I didn't tell y'all last night I stayed on Clubhouse with me and my friends. Um, it was supposed to be all of us, but everybody can't always make the Clubhouse chats or whatever. I was on there with Kiara and Brianna D and Brianna G, and we was just chopping it up, talking about whatever. Um, we like going on there. So these are girls that I met on TikTok. This is my pretty little cane sisters. If you don't know, we do have a basically like a friendship group. And we named it Pretty Little Canes. It's like a thing that white people do in the black community. There's a group of boys that just came out. They're called the Titans. They're like from like 18 to like 30, like mid 30s. We are the ages, the Pretty Little Canes were the ages of 24 to 34. 
so it's really nice um you have the baddies the blind baddies then you have the sisterhood of the traveling canes and i think that's the only ones that i can think of right now oh and the peanuts you have the peanuts as well so it's a lot of us <laughs> the blind community is very small because it's like everybody knows everybody you know but we low-key kind of lit okay we kind of lit but